Hey, what's up guys? It's Thursday, my day off. And as you can tell, we got, oh, four or five inches here at the homestead. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna kinda walk you through my, my daily chores. As you can tell, we just live in a little house in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to clean the cars off this morning. You would think we'd park them in our garage, but we don't half the time. So, I gotta stomp out here, take care of some chickens, take care of some goats. Usually I have this all done before it even gets daylight. But uh, Thursdays are my day off, like I said. So I get to sleep in a little bit. It's uh, seven o'clock. And I got a couple of things to do before the wife heads to, she does, she does kinder music and violin lessons on my day off. So I have the kids, favorite day of the week. And there's the chickens. We got them some water just a little bit because it will freeze here. I don't like to come out when there's snow on the ground. It looks like they have some food, so I don't need to do that. I already got them some water. And I head to my favorite critters down here. The goats. You can probably hear our our doe in there bawling. Alright. Cats like to stay in here and stay warm. Grab my little hay. You ever thinking about goats? Pretty self-sufficient. Buck's a little nasty. He likes to get all worked up. And then this is a little buckling. Pete and Simpson. And this is the doughy milk here. And that's Penny. Get her some hay. All around though, I kind of enjoy these goats. We're not milking this time of the year because Penny is bred. So she'll kid sometime in March. And all you gotta do is throw them a little hay, throw them a little grain, get them fresh water. These guys love their grain. Don't ya? Don't ya? Don't ya? Lily, I've had her since I was in college. She's getting up there. I can't do this one handed, so I'm gonna pause this. Alright, guys, so I just got some water. Goats are taken care of. Now I'm gonna go out, hook the plow up to the quad. I don't know about you guys, but I stink and love snow. <clears throat> Why I gotta get the plow, uh, the plow hooked up to the quad is our driveway is like a quarter mile long. I'll walk you up here and show you. It runs out along the goat pasture there, the whole way out to a dirt road, which is zero winter maintenance as well you can see luckily we all have four-wheel drive vehicles and I really don't even need to plow half the time but I try to keep the ice down so the driveway gets the worst when we get all the snow and then it warms up and then freezes again and warms up and freezes again but we'll walk back if we have to pretty simple people live on a in a little house on a homestead. I don't have internet here. I don't have computer, telephone, other than my cell phone. Uh, no cable TV. So we hotspot with our cell phones a little bit, but I do all the trad geek work when I get to work. So I update the website 
build the website, upload vlogs, do all that stuff when I'm at work in between patients. Um, and then I answer everything on my cell phone here at the house because we do get some service if we have the phone in the window. So it's pretty cool. I'm sure you guys weren't expecting that, but that's my life. So I'm gonna hook up the quad and then go check a few trail cameras. easy. You just went your right on, kick the lever. I always like to double check to make sure the hooks went up through. Looks like I got it. So as I let the quad kind of just warm up there, this is the workbench in my garage. Pretty decent sized garage other than my kids toys take up half of it. That dryer's my son's dryer, so he's like Sidney Crosby. He shoots his hockey pucks into it. But I got a pretty nice garage. Built this little boat bench. So all my stuff's out here. This is where I come have fun. But I'm excited for shed season. These are some sheds I picked up. Put a little TG logo on those. Those are my rattling horns. I've rattled in a lot of deer with those. I think that was my first bow buck. That was my second trad buck, I believe. Hard to see with the light. And then this shed right here, Harper picked up last year on my property. I'm pretty sure that buck's still living. But uh, pretty cool setup. This is where I come and kind of get some personal time. We need to send this back and get it re-dipped as well as our binos and, and our RK1s. But. Uh, a map I have in my garage of my property so we're way back here right now so there's the quarter mile driveway that I was talking about out to this dirt road so this is the, the property I always talk about this is my lease this is my property the 30 acres and then this is my my good friend's property and he lets me do whatever I want with it too for hunting so like I said I'm fortunate if you guys are interested in these maps, go to Huntera.com. My good friend Ben Harshine developed that company. He's originally from Pennsylvania and he moved out to shoot the big bucks in Iowa. So that's where his business is at now. As you all know, first plow of the year. You gotta, once you put your plow on, you gotta get tested. Wife's gonna be pretty upset because she's in a hurry, but Oh well, he'll get over it. Well, at the end of the driveway and head back. At least you won't have any problems getting out this morning. I'm driving up Polaris Fortune 570. So this plow came with it. Well, not didn't come with it, but I bought it brand new with the with the quad. I should have a little more angle on that plow, but I didn't take the time to get off. Ooh. A lot more better than I thought though. So I finally made it out to the end of the road and there's our road. It's another half mile to a paved road. But these are the fields you always see Finn and I laughing. Beautiful crisp morning here in Pennsylvania. You guys don't like snow. There's something wrong with you. But... Oh, I love it. So I made one trip out. Finally got out here. It only took me a couple minutes, but uh, I'm gonna head back. Go check some trail cameras. Oh guys, I just did a bunch of trail cam checking. Pretty boring for you guys, so I didn't. I didn't vlog it, but with this fresh snow, I was hoping that big eight point showed up on the food plot last night and I could potentially find his tracks and get the cameras where they need to be. But as you know, he didn't show up. So 
This fresh snow is awesome for finding deer. There's a few deer trails that the deer used last night to go to the food plot that I wasn't expected, so I moved some cameras around. Kind of changed them up. I did get another little buck show up on camera that wasn't coming, but this is one spot right here that they're coming down over. That I don't have a camera on. I have a camera just back here on this skitter trail a little further, but and they seem to be coming down off of here quite a bit. Up through here, there's deer trails everywhere in here, so <clears throat> as of my count, I have about 10 or 15 does coming into the food plot. But just a matter of time till he shows up and I can cross his tracks, and once I cross his tracks. I can pinpoint his bedding. I know where he's bedded, but I want to find his bed, so Mark can kill him. But you guys have a good day. Hopefully, I can vlog with the kids sled riding a little later. But I'm gonna get in the house, get warmed up. What's up, guys? It's Friday, and I'm bundled up like it's five degrees outside because it is five degrees outside. Decided just to come out and sit and uh, take some video and pictures if I saw a game, uh, just for fun. So I'm in this blind I made last week. And uh, saw some doe move through at first light and a little red fox. I uh, just kind of ran across her. happening guys it is 12 29 a.m. it's Friday night thought I'd recap the week with you um, just because I think it's it's fun that uh, that we get to do trad geeks and enjoy doing trad geeks and uh, all the stuff that Kevin Mike and I get to do um, but a lot of the times we just run out of time in the week so to recap my week uh, I work retail. I work in a retail music store. We're a family-owned business. My dad and I run uh, our retail operation. Uh, we do the school band instruments, all that good stuff, PA systems, church sound, uh, guitars, drums, pianos, PA systems, all that stuff. But it is Christmas time, so if you're in a retail business, you understand that Christmas is busy. Um, just like the back to school time for us in our business, but Monday our stores open 10 to 8, so I work 10 to 8. Um, of course, when you open your shop and close your shop, you're in there typically 20 to 30 minutes before the door opens, and then you're there past um, typically at least 15 minutes getting everything closed down, running deposits to the bank, all that good stuff. Nonetheless, Tuesday is just a 10 to 6, so I did get um, to work just an 8-hour shift. Uh, Wednesday, we're usually closed. That's typically my day off, but with extended holiday hours, um, I gave my sales guy uh, that runs the store when I'm not around the day off, and I worked Wednesday 10 to 6, um, which was a blast. Uh, we were busy, slammed, and then after work, I drove straight um, for a half an hour to Punxsy uh, to do the podcast. We did an impromptu podcast for uh, the bow giveaway that we're doing, which is awesome. Talked to Chester, had a blast. Probably got home around 11, 11.30 at night um, next morning. And Lisa's in finals right now. She just finished today. was her last final this morning, which is awesome. She's going to be off for winter break from college, which will be great. So today, well, yesterday was Thursday, so I worked a 10 to 6, um, and actually I got home when I typically should, about 6.20 after work, and then uh, today's Friday. 
I got up this morning and went out and sat for three hours. Uh, I was in my blind an hour before daylight with the camera. I just wanted to be able to take some pictures and enjoy a little bit of time in nature. Uh, so I went to a blind behind my house that I, uh, I got brushed in and built. Well, it's snowed in now, but I got to hang out there for a couple hours. Uh, went to work, um, worked 10 to 8, and now it is 12.32 and I'm on my way home because at 8 o'clock uh, I had a recording session scheduled. Guys came in, uh, actually a rap duo, um, pretty talented dudes. Uh, it was an enjoyable time, but it's, nonetheless it's work. So I've got plenty of time in already this week. Um, I'm I wanted to wake up tomorrow early again and go out and sit. There's a red fox running around that I want to photograph so bad I want to capture that animal uh, because I've seen it three or four times in the snow and it's just an amazing, uh, beautiful animal um, but just haven't had the opportunity to take the picture. So as much opportunity as I can get when it's snowing, I want to be out. Uh, but I might sleep in tomorrow because I work 10 to 6. And then uh, we've got church after work. Uh, so that Sunday we can kind of just relax and then I have a hockey game Sunday. Start the grind all over next week. So um, we just wanted to kind of, or I just wanted to kind of tell you a little bit about my life. Kind of what goes on outside of Trad Geeks. Um, Trad Geeks is an important aspect of my life. Um, Kevin, Mike, and I all have goals associated with it and have uh, things that we want to accomplish through it. Um, simply because we love hunting, we love being out, we love uh, nature, love giving back to that community, love sharing our experiences. Um, but it's a grind sometimes and it's, it's work sometimes, um, just like our real jobs. So um, if we don't put out content as much as we should, thanks for bearing with us. Um, but we live busy lives and wouldn't have it any other way because if you aren't busy and you aren't working and you aren't grinding and you aren't trying to better your life and the life of your family, then what's the point?